What are isotopes? How are they formed? Isotopes are atoms of the same element, therefore they have the same number of protons. However, they have differing number of neutrons. Some isotopes are radioactive, meaning they spontaneously go through radioactive decay. But not all are. Many are quite stable. Atoms of the same element, for example carbon, with a different number of neutrons are called isotopes. For example, some carbon atoms have six neutrons, while some carbon atoms have seven. Neutrons have zero charge, therefore differing number of neutrons does not affect the charge of the atoms. However, neutrons do have a mass of 1 AMU. Atoms with more neutrons will be heavier. Carbon-12 has a charge of 0 and a mass number of 12. Carbon-13 has a charge of 0 and a mass number of 13. Isotopes can be identified by the number at the upper left corner of their symbol. They can also be identified by placing the mass number after the element name, as in carbon-12 or carbon-13. Many people confuse mass number with atomic mass. The mass number is the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons. The atomic mass found on the periodic table is the average of the actual masses found in nature. Since the mass number is the sum of particles, it will always be a whole number. The atomic mass is not a whole number as it is an average of all of the isotopes represented in nature. The mass number refers to one specific isotope, for example, carbon-12. All atoms of carbon-12 have a mass number of 12. However, the atomic mass is a weighted average of all of the isotopes. Carbon has an atomic mass of 12.01. That represents all of the isotopes of carbon. The mass number is not found on the periodic table. The periodic table lists the atomic mass, the average for all the isotopes. Average atomic mass is a weighted average. It takes into account how often each isotope is present. The average atomic mass is equal to the sum. The capital Greek letter sigma indicates sum of the abundance, which is the fraction of the time that isotope is present, times the mass of that isotope. To find the average atomic mass, multiply each isotope's abundance by that isotope's mass, and then sum all of those answers. Here's an example asking to calculate the average atomic mass. Remember to use the kudos method for word problems. Step K. Identify the known. Chlorine-35 has a mass of 34.969 AMU. Chlorine-37 has a mass of 36.966 AMU. Chlorine-37 is present 24.22% of the time. Therefore, we also know how often Chlorine-35 is present. Step U, the unknown. The average atomic mass of Chlorine. Step D, definition. 
atomic mass equals the sum of the abundance times the mass for each isotope. Step O, output. Plug in the abundance in decimal form and the atomic mass in AMU for each isotope. Multiply 0.7578 times 34.969 plus 0.2422 times 36.966. The atomic mass is 34.460 AMU. S. Substantiate. This is the average atomic mass found for chlorine on the periodic table. Therefore, the answer is correct.